every American child should have a home assembled shopping cart. We're gonna use the go buggy to charge batteries that we could use for lighting or anything else you'd need. We can convert it to 110, you run anything off of it. Hey, Michael, you about got that thing up and running? Yeah. I brought you some fuel, man. Pure grain alcohol. And I got a chaser for you if you need it. Let's just put it in here. Our challenge is not just to use a generator. Anyone can do that. We want to use a cheap renewable energy source to power it, like ethanol, which is a type of corn-based alcohol. So we're going to use pure grain alcohol. Let me see that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, God. I'm glad I brought this. That stuff is nasty. We're going to hit your truck as soon as we get started. All right, let's do it. So just hold it in or pump it? I don't know. Something ain't acting right. So we, we try to crank the go buggy just to make sure it still runs, and it doesn't. They say you run alcohol on these things. It will eat the gaskets apart in the carburetor. Yeah. That's what I have heard. So the gaskets may be bad, and it's pulling air, and you know where it should be sealed off. So me and Papa are going to have to clean and fix the carburetor, then put an alternator on the back wheel. Then hopefully we can get this thing up and running. So me and Papa will get everything put back on the go buggy and filled back up. And we crank it up in gear. And it takes off by itself. Michael tried to run with it to get it out of gear. And it threw him a flip. The alternator that we put on it, we didn't have it bolted in place. <laughs> hey, it won't quit running. The wheel caught it and threw it into the chain, knocked the chain drive loose, and stopped the buggy before it ran through the woods. <laughs> Was she wrong? Well, that's, that's obvious. <laughs> There's no telling where it would have gone to. 